Hey everyone, CNC Keith here with yet again another DIY CNC video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Acorn CNC 12 license purchasing process. Alrighty, let's check it out. I am on the Acorn CNC controller webpage. And if I scroll down, you're going to have a couple choices here of software license purchases. Uh, you have the Acorn Mill Pro, the Acorn Digitizing Bundle, and the Acorn Lathe Pro. So if I wanted to purchase the Acorn Mill Pro, for example, you hit the Add to Cart button and complete the purchase using the PayPal checkout cart here. And it's interesting to note that you don't have to have a PayPal account to use this. You can uh, check out here using the checkout, pay without a PayPal account, and you could use a credit card right there as well. You don't have to have a PayPal account, and you don't have to pay with a PayPal account. But if you do, you hit the yellow button and go ahead and complete the purchase. Alrighty, once you've completed the purchase, this page pops up. And Centroid's giving us some instructions here. And that's, this is really what this video is about, to go over what they need to complete and to create the license file for you. So the, first up, it says, hey, if you've ordered the Acorn software, that license file, uh, for a previously purchased Acorn system, what they want you to do is email a fresh report.zip file to the DIY sales department. And they will generate a fresh license file based on that report that matches your system. So when you complete the purchase here over on PayPal, they email you a receipt. So just hit forward on your email program and then attach a fresh report.zip. Now, you don't have to do this if you ordered your license file and the Acorn board at the same time because Centroid at that point has your Acorn board and they will generate a license file that matches that Acorn board. This process that's being described right here that I'm going over in this video is just for if I purchased an Acorn board and I was using the free version of the software and it's been a few months or a week or a few days, just you have ordered it at a separate time, then you need to report, uh, send a refresh report.zip into the DIY sales team so they can uh, generate a license file that matches your particular system. So let's go ahead and do that. How you generate a report.zip is you come on over here to the Acorn CNC 12 software and you hit F7 utility menu and then F7 create report and it asks you, hey, where do you want me to save it? I'm just going to save it on the desktop. Once I've done that, in your email program, you've forwarded that PayPal receipt. You go to your desktop, you navigate to that report file. Here it is right here. Uh, all those big numbers, it's actually the serial number of the Acorn CNC control board, and then it has the date. So go ahead and attach this file to your email. It's also interesting to note that Centroid generates license files for sales Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Um, so be aware of that as well. If you ordered on a Friday night, you're going to get it Monday morning. Alrighty, they will send back to you the Acorn license file. Let's check out what a license file looks like. So you will get a file that looks like this in your email. And this is a pro mill file, license file. And let's go over how to install it. So starting at the main menu of CNC 12, you go back into the utility menu. You hit F8 options and F2 import license. Notice right now it says Acorn free here in the middle of the screen. I'm running the free version of CNC 12 and I want to install the pro license file that I just got in my email. So I navigate to it, I hit open, it installs it, and then it changes the name to Acorn Pro. It also lets you know that if you hit F1 setup, it'll let you know here what version of software you're running and whether you're running free or pro and give you your system ID and all that kind of good stuff. So that's just an interesting side note. So that's how you install it. Uh, once you've done that, if I were you, I would make another fresh create report, another fresh report.zip, because this report.zip I'm going to make right now will actually have the license file information in it as well. So in addition to saving all your CNC control configurations in one nice little zip file, uh, it also grabs a hold of the license file. That way, if you ever had to install the CNC 12 software on another CNC PC or rebuild this hard drive, etc., you could use this handy F2 restore report, navigate to that report file, and hit open, and it would stuff all those parameters and all those wizard settings and all that good stuff, including license file, back 
without having to do much more than a few seconds worth of work here, which is a really nice thing to have. So always be making uh, fresh report.zip files whenever you make any changes to CNC12 so you save a snapshot or a copy of all those changes. That's it in a nutshell. Good luck with your projects.